Hey. Welcome back to Cuphead Customs. Welcome back to a new episode on the 39. If you're new to the channel, get down there, catch up, find out what we're about. Five grand budget build, 99.9% .9 done. That's right, we're on the final, final, final few things. Our brake master, today is a freaking public holiday, isn't it? So I couldn't get our fittings. So we can't quite finish them. But what we can do today is we'll make our trans cooler, we'll fab that up, we'll see if we can fab up some little things to hold our brake hoses. Um, there's another hose here I worked out, the PCV, PCV, is that how you say it? PCV valve, is that it? I can't even find it now. This thing here, the PCV valve. Well, that runs from the rocker cover. Let's see if we can do this on camera. We'll get this job straight done. Boom, like that. So that's going to run from there. That's kind of in the way of our thing there, isn't it? Let's have a look. And then it actually goes onto here. Just like that. That's in, done. So there's another job off the list. Now let's just see if that's not fouling anything. No, we're happy with that. So there's another one done. Boom. So now we've got a hose under here, which actually ran to the anti-pollution gear. So we're going to put a blank on that, I think. And we have one over here, which I think may be like a vacuum that we could use for that vacuum that runs back to the trans is what I'm thinking. Got to do research on that. So anyway, that's not what we're going to do. That's a bit of dribble. We've got to spray ourselves with Aerocard because I'm freaking allergic to mosquitoes and midges and they're out in force at the moment. So we've got to spray ourselves with some of that. And we probably get a mozzie coil going outside, I think. And then let's do some fabricating. All right? Reaper. You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lame. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Uh. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test and Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next year? He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, that's a blessing, new focus, no guessing Just bought an obsession, all in his possession, you got the retention I leave an impression and take a redemption, just kill no discretion Your mind is a weapon, 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me so he's been looking for somebody who could save him Instead of searching inside for what they gave him A strong will, strong mind causes mayhem We could change the world, change times, rearrange them Staying on pace, running the race Life is a chase, I don't want a place I want to be first, work till it hurts Dehydrated thirst till I'm in a hearse oh. High ambitions in the right mind Can take you so far It's, it's like, like you lived a few lifetimes Take off, so I'ma break off from the weak minds They can stay soft, you can change lives, you create thoughts Never waste time, you got one shot You got one life, better pop off What do you like? Make a dream job No 9-5, no mean boss Just my life and free thoughts You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Muddy hands break through the chains, go free me People like sheep move feet, hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when they see me Better stay tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no, free me
So this is what we just achieved, yeah? Uh, can we see that? Let's put the other one on. Boom, so we just made a couple little plates. Nothing fancy. We've got these clips here off of a Suzuki Swift. And we just welded that on the chassis. And there's our little brake hose holder Rooney. And there's our nice little brake line. Oh, beautiful. So we've done that on both sides. Um, and then we fab this up. This is going to be our transmission cooler mount. So, yeah, we will, that will get screwed in the other way around. We'll get screwed up into the floor like that. Boom. Up underneath. Boom. And there it is. I think that's got to work pretty good, doesn't it? Hey, hey. <laughs> Not bad, am I, for a freaking no opa? Anyway, I think that's all we're going to do today because I've had a gut full. Uh, so that gives us, tomorrow in the morning, we'll quickly mount that. We will go and get our two fittings so we can finish our brakes. Then we will quickly adjust our brakes, I think. We'll jack the back up, we'll adjust them. We'll have, we might even try to bleed them tomorrow too, I think, hey? We'll see if we bleed them, see if we've got any leaks in our, in our flares. And... While we're there, we'll grab a couple of little, uh, I think we need a little, a little cap, hose cap for there, and I think we might need a T-piece uh, for the vacuum line, a vacuum line T-piece, and I think that will be that in there. Then, basically, we've got to do an oil change, we might have a look at that. And once that's mounted, that's done. I think we just got to wire this freaker. I think. I think that's all we have to do is wire it up. But there's a couple little things we need to do later on. Uh, I'll just might as well fill you in. So, as you can see, these wheels have these um, stupid little spaces. And I'm missing... One or two. So I've got to go track someone down with a lathe to get me to knock me a couple of them up. Um, we've still got to do our handbrake cable. We haven't even looked at it. Oh, we've still got to mount that rad support. That's our other job for tomorrow. Anyway, enough rambling. I'm going to go in. I'm going to do some editing. And uh, I'll see you guys in the freaking morning. Reaper. Yeah. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off and get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can have me douse, not what I'm about, have your fucking cloud It be raining now, I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound Can't stop me now you don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can Alright, so it's late in the day now as I had, we had a few things to do and I had to go and drive into Brisbane to get the fittings <sighs> Anyway, what it ended up being I had to buy a new master so that's our same lid I swapped the lids around That's a brand new master even though our other one was a brand new master as you can see, we've got the two orange boxes over there. Uh, so the reason my fittings weren't, and I didn't actually look, I just thought, oh, they must have given us, it must be metric. And I was thinking, didn't think, it must be a metric master, imperial fittings. No, it wasn't. The master we had, just back in the thing, the, uh, the threads, the threads in this one, well, they're plugged anyway. But anyway, the threads were not threaded properly. They were, they had no point in the pitch. They were just like square. So, so yeah, we picked it up when we went to get the new fittings in Brisbane. And they said, this thing's damaged. What have you done to us? I said, I haven't freaking done anything. It's brand new. 
Anyway, so I just pulled the trigger and bought a new one from there, which is the exact same, same brand, everything. And we've got the two fittings, so we've got the lines all plumbed. All the lines are plumbed. We're all ready to go there. Um, so tomorrow morning I'll come out and I'll adjust the brakes. And then I'll get the boss to come down and, and we'll bleed them. So, yes, and I've hit, because I bought that one online from an eBay shop. Uh, so I'm trying to, we'll see if I get my money back or not. If not, we'll probably have to try to see if we can throw a tap down it and re-tap the threads and, uh, See if we can use it on something else, but yeah, we probably will because I think we're going to do another one of these. We're going to do another one of these setups, HQ chassis, Bedford type arrangement. So more than likely we'll have another one. So there's that. So the brakes are nearly ready to go. I've mounted the trans cooler underneath and plumbed the lines back up. So hopefully you've seen that. If not, I'll show you this tomorrow. Um, so that's mounted. Just got to wire that up. So. What are we up to? What do we got? We still have to do the red support. So we're going to do the red support tomorrow. Bleed the brakes and adjust the brakes. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. And we'll see how we go. We may even see if we can find something for this freaking handbrake cable. Uh, we'll see if we can sort the batteries. I've got one over there, that yellow one. You can see it through the window. That yellow battery is one. And I think I've got my other good yellow one disappeared, but I've got one on my car trailer that I can swap around because I want two matching batteries. So, yeah, we'll grab this one. And I've got one on my car trailer, which means I'm not going to have a battery in my car trailer, isn't it? Anyway, so what? Whatever, we'll work that out later. I've probably got batteries. I've got batteries everywhere. Um, so that... We'll get that on and we'll try to get those battery, let's go around this side, we'll get these battery cables run properly and we'll work this out. I think we have to weld a, we'll have to weld a bolt on here so we're going to use as an earth. So we'll have to work because we're going to have to hook the two batteries up together. So I think if we go that on one battery, we'll probably take that little sucker down for an earth. And this one can go to the other battery. Yeah, I think that's how we're going to do it. I think that's what we're going to do, guys. That's what we're going to do. And that can join onto here. Yeah, that'll work. So that can join onto there like that. Boom. So that can go on one battery, and then that will join onto that. That will go onto the other battery. And yeah, then that can go down to there, and that can be our earth to the chassis. And we're taking that directly to the starter. That earth goes directly to the starter, so that basically earths out the motor. So, boom, there, that's how we'll do that. So we've got to weld a little little bolt on there. Yeah, so we'll do that tomorrow as well. And we'll work out our positive. I think, what have we done here? All right, we've used that. We may swap that out. We may go grab another one. Because I think we might want the big clip. Anyway, that's easy peasies. We'll suss that tomorrow. So we'll do that tomorrow. We'll bleed the brakes, adjust the brakes, bleed the brakes. Very close. And then I think it's just wiring. I think we just got to wire it and then we're ready to fire it and put some petrol in it and fire it and off. So I still haven't quite, I haven't sat down and stuffed around with this. That reminds me, I'll take this with me right now inside when I go inside tonight. We'll take, we'll put that in my pocket. So that's our... This is what we bought. So that's got our. So let's see if we can decipher this. Plus, with what I've got written inside, and we'll see if we can morph the two together. <laughs> All right, next. We're back. All right, it's next day. It's actually the Arvo. Didn't actually record too much today because uh, it was a little bit of a challenge. So I basically. Just had to try to nut it all out because we're doing some wiring. Yeah. So anyway, we did a fair bit of stuff. So uh, I think the last thing you've seen was probably me. I did the trans mount, yeah? So I'm just going to shove the camera under the car. Hopefully you can see it. So there it is there. All mounted. Boom. Like that. Yep. Anyway, hopefully you can see that. 
Uh, so the trans cooler is mounted. We just got to wire it up. Um, what else? The brake master's all done. Brake lines are all hooked up. I've adjusted the brakes. So, oh, that's feeling stiff now. What's going on? What have we done? Let's just sit this down and have a little look, scare if I put too much on it. There we go. I don't know what went on then. I don't know what was going on then. Anyway, we've adjusted the brakes. I think they might have just been stuck. Let's have a look at this one. Yeah, see? All right, so, and we've done the back ones. They may need readjusting later. We haven't bled them yet. Uh, well, the boss isn't very well today, so I can't really get her to help me bleed them. Uh, so we'll bleed them hopefully tomorrow. That's the brakes done. Now, I've been doing some wiring. Oh, yeah. So, before I show you what I did, I'll just show you this. Because this is pretty cool. So, we'll just hook this up right just got our jump pack hooked up and we'll just lean in here first we'll turn the jump pack on boom and are you ready are you ready are you ready are you ready ready for what ready for nothing it's not working that was a big stuff up wasn't it ah ha 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 yeah you got to connect the jump pack dickhead Try that again, eh? All right, well, we won't even cut that out. Well, we might cut that out. Anyway, let's try that again. Ready for this? Oh, yeah. We have crank off the key. So we haven't connected any fuel. We haven't put any fuel in it yet. Disconnect that. So we haven't connected our batteries up yet. But we've got all the wires here. Is that positive? We've got to connect uh, another positive to do our double link. Here's our negative, which is earthed out on the chassis, and that will that's for our two batteries. So that's that rigged. And then if we come up to the front, now we've got to neaten a bit of this up yet. We've got to put some, uh, some of the black sheathing and stuff around. But what we have is we've got our coil wired, our resistor wired, off of our ignition we've got our alternator done we haven't connected an alternator light yet but wherever that is where is it whoop there our alternator wires in uh, our fuse block is connected and we've got our switch working so we've got um, the coil only powers up when it's into the ignition mode we've got the actual start mode and we've got an accessories mode so we've got a couple of fuses over here for like hazard lights, I think, that have constant power. Then the rest of it basically is only on accessories. And then the coil will only work on the ignition side. So the, if you were to leave it on accessories, the coil won't fry. So we basically have the motor side of the wiring all done. Shout out to me, mate, to come and help me. Took two of us to get our heads around that because it was a freaking nightmare. We were doing all sorts of tests and freaking all sorts of stuff was going on here trying to work it out. So anyway, from what I'm working out now, what we've worked out is what I think is, what we'll do is this is our steering column wiring. And then we've got all of these. These are all our circuits, all our fused circuits here, all of these. Okay. Now we have to do, so this is what we got. We're going to have one circuit that's going to run our... Um, a trans fan and we're going to have one circuit that runs our 12 volt supply in there and then we're going to we've got our headlights and our indicators and our horn we have to actually actually reminds me i've got to go find a horn mount a horn um so i think what we're going to do is i thought that was the flasher but i don't we we don't think it is so we've got to go get a a, a flasher unit and a couple of relays for the headlight, I think I'm going to run the headlights through relays. Uh, I'm still waiting on my headlight switch. 
We do have switches in it that I probably could use, but I think we're just going to wait. At this stage, we're not going to wire the wiper. I'm not going to worry about that, and I'm not wiring up any gauge lights or anything at the moment. All I'm basically wiring up is headlights, indicators, and tail lights. That's basically all I'm going to have at this point, just to get it running and driving down the street. And we'll have, our, of course, our the two things I said, the, the trans thing and uh, so that's all we'll do to start with and then later on we'll we'll wire some other stuff in so yeah we'll have our brake our brake pedal has to be wired in but yeah later on we'll do our gauges and we'll do our oil pressure gauges and interior light and windscreen wiper and all that malarkey later on so what we'll do is we'll just coil up all the circuits we don't use we'll just wind them all up nice and neat cable tie them up in there out of the way for us to tap into later but we just basically want to get this thing driving. So, I also worked out that I'd connected up the B&M <coughs> shifter bracket back to front. But I've rectified that. Now I'm a bit concerned about the transmission. So, I now drop some comments on this. You guys we can let me know about this. The car's jacked up. We can turn the wheels in every gear, except for park, of course. Reverse, neutral, drive second first we can spin these back wheels so i don't know if that's right or not and it will not it will not try to turn the motor it's not turning the motor over so i've got a feeling something could be wrong with that transmission drop some comments down on that guys i need some assistance to tell me just to put my brain at ease whether that's an issue or not so yeah later on we'll have to have a you know, we'll have a, a probably we have to wire in our brake light, you know, warning light. We'll have to wire in a, a a park lockout for the trans that it won't start. All of that stuff can get wired in later. But yeah, at this stage, we just want to drive it down the street. So we've got it cranked. I've got no fat petrol in it. I have to go down. Like I said, the boss is not well. So tomorrow we'll go out and I'll get a jerry can full of fuel. We actually have spark. I've checked it. So yeah, we've got the coil, we've got all that. I've had the dizzy off, we've got spark. So we are ready to fire, uh, add some petrol, and hopefully we don't have any fuel leaks like we had before, and hopefully it may fire up. So yes, we're low on trans fluid. We've got to get trans fluid, those few electrical items, a jerry can full of fuel, and it should fire, and then yeah, bleed the brakes. Um, and very, very close. Now, I don't know if you guys just heard that. Do you freaking hear that? That thing hissing? Oh, there he is. It's, a, it's not a snake, it's just a possum. See his tail? I tell you what, that scared the absolute bejesus out of me. I don't know if you've seen our little shorts. We've been having a bit of a snake issue. And I'll poly pass them in there, in the wheel, making noises, because I'm making noise. Bloody hell. Talk about freak a man out. So anyway, I think that we'll, we'll see how we go, but that's probably going to do this video. So you're going to have to just stay tuned to the next one, where we will uh, hopefully fire it up in the next one. And maybe, maybe drive it. We'll see. We'll be very freaking close, I'm telling you. So, fingers crossed we don't have any more issues. And, yeah, in the next one, hopefully, we are driving. So, yes, with the wiring, we've got to neaten all this up, put some, uh, you know, this stuff on it, some wire things, and that once we finish it all, we'll throw that on later. It will get nice and sexy. Um, we've got to connect all this in as well yet. Yeah. So there's still a fair bit to do on the wiring, but we actually have the motor wiring side done. It's a big, huge step. A little bit excited now. Yes, a little bit excited. So, yeah. So what do we do now? Oh, yeah, I'm not even singing yet, am I? Ri
Bidi-ba-di-ba-di-ba-ba. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.